In this video, we're going to learn how to write the equation of a line and then write the equation of a line tangent to a curve at a point. Uh, we use point slope form, which looks like this. Y minus Y1 equals MX minus X1, which we learned in Algebra 1. Uh, our first example, write the equation of line with slope 2 thirds passing through the point, negative 2 comma 3. We're simply plugging into the formula. So we have Y minus 3 is equal to 2 thirds X. We have a double negative, which makes a positive 2. And that's your equation of the line. Alternate answers for that, uh, in Calc BC, you'll tend to see it as Y equals 3 plus 2 thirds x plus 2. It's also possible that we would write that in standard form. So we could start with our original answer. We could kill the fraction by multiplying the 3 to the other side. That would give us 3y minus 9 is equal to 2 times x plus 2. Then 3y minus 9 is 2x plus 4. And then we could have 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 13. It's also possible we could write that in y equals mx plus b form. In our second example, this time we're going to use a little calculus, write the equation of the tangent line at x equals 1 for f of x equals 3x squared minus x. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get our point. We already know our x value is 1. To get our y value, we're going to do f of 1. So that would be 3 times 1 squared minus 1, which would give us a y value of 2. So we're going to put a 2. To get our slope, we would do the derivative of our function. That would be 6x minus 1. And it's at the value x equals 1. So f prime of 1 is equal to 6 times 1 minus 1, giving us a slope of 5. Now we're going to take our slope of 5 and our point 1 comma 2 and put that into slope, point slope form. y minus 2 is equal to 5 times x minus 1. In our last example, again, we want to write the equation of the line tangent. Uh, this time we're going to use a little bit of trig. So we've got our original point, x equals pi thirds. If I want to use pi thirds to get my y value, I'm going to go y is equal to cosine of pi thirds. Our special value tells us that that's going to be 1 half. So we have a pi thirds 1 half. Then we're going to take the derivative, dy dx. dy dx equal to the derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. I want to do dy dx at x is pi thirds. So I can plug in negative sine of pi thirds would be negative radical 3 over 2. Here's my slope. Here's my point. So I have y minus 1 half is equal to negative radical 3 over 2 x minus pi thirds.